Have you ever wanted to send the information of a survey result to someone right after it's been submitted? Well, in today's GeoSnap, I'm going to show you how to use Make.com to create a webhook that can accomplish this. To create a webhook, we can start at Make.com. Here you can create a free account to make your first webhook. After you've created a free profile, you can start by creating a new webhook by selecting Create a New Scenario from the Organization page. Now click the large plus and search Survey123. Then select Watch Survey, and then select Add. Now you can add the name of your webhook, and then select Add again, and fill in your ArcGIS Online information. Now select the survey the webhook should be attached to. Then make sure Add Data is selected. This option will enable the webhook to activate whenever the survey is submitted. Before we add the next module, I want to make sure the one we just made works. You can do this by selecting Run Once, and then make sure to submit a survey after selecting that option, as this will make it run properly. Next, since this survey has an image attachment, I need a way to attach the image to the email. This can be done with the HTTP module. Select Get a File, and in the field, add the attachment info URL. If this option is not available, make sure to test the previous module as stated before. Lastly, we can add the email module. First select send an email. Then for the first field, you can make a connection and sign in to the email you would like to send the data from. This is usually an automated company email address. Now we can add the people it needs to be sent to. Then we can fill in the subject line with your preferred subject. In my case, I will be adding the object ID of the survey. In the next field, we can put in the content of your email. In my case, I will be putting the answers of my survey. Notice that I added break HTML tags to separate the email. Finally, you can add the attachment from the HTTP module that you created before. Lastly, now we can hit run once and test the scenario again. Once you make sure it's working properly, you can turn on your webhook to have it run every time a survey is submitted. Now I'm waiting in my email here and, oh, a new email just came in my inbox. This email shows all of the answers from the survey, as well as the photo that was attached to it. I hope this demonstration helps and I'm excited to see what you guys do in the future with webhooks.